Hi, today I want to talk about parental manipulation. Now, what do I mean by this? I'm talking about parents who use their children as pawns to fight their wars. Now, what do I mean? These are parents either going through a divorce or single parents. And this goes to partners who are literally trying to cling on to what's falling apart. Parents who are interested in what's drifting apart. Now, nobody loves to raise a child single-handedly. Nobody wants to raise a child without their partner. But in this case, when something is falling apart, why do you insist on holding on? Why do you try so hard to the point of using your children to fight for your interests? How selfish can you be? Now look at this child, innocent as they are. No, they did not choose you to be their parent. Nobody chooses. Nobody wakes up and chooses who their parents are. I mean, we would all come from good families if that was the case. But it is God. It is God who gives us where we belong. And we have to be proud of it. It don't matter rich or poor. Family will always be family. Now, don't deny children a chance to be happy simply because of your selfish interest. If you must fight for your love, do it as you to not involve children it is the most unfair thing on this earth you may wonder why i'm so concerned i'm a mother a single mother at that and i honestly have faced some of these challenges these are things that happen to us it might not happen to you but you do have a friend that is going through the same you know Parents deny kids a chance to see their fathers or mothers. You go up an extra mile to deny a father or mother their parental role. Now, in this case, who, are you, who do you think you're hurting? It's that child, your own child. You're traumatizing them. You're putting them through this distress that they didn't ask for. That I didn't bargain for. Now, let me tell you, people. It don't matter whether you're in good relationships with your partner or not. Blood is thicker than water. And it doesn't matter whether you give the children their parental rights or not. They will never have different parents. They will never have different DNA. So while you're there thinking, yeah, you don't like the father of your child, so you have to name them after you, you'll never be the father. You'll always be the mother. Now, don't get me wrong. We do have circumstances where it is very dangerous to put some parents together with their kids in cases of rape, in cases of, uh, you know, death and all that, such threats to the children. Are very considerate you know now such cases I, I know what I'm talking about I'm talking about cases where you just don't get along with your partner and you choose to use your child you deny them their rights simply because you're not getting along with your partner it doesn't mean you should use your child to hate on the other to choose whom to love some of you go an extent of lying about the other to your kids simply because you want them to love you more. When you use your child to take sides, who are you hurting? Is that child going to have another parent? Do you think any other person is going to love them better than you? Do you think if the worst came to the worst, someone is going to love them better than you? Wake up, honey. We all go through some of these things. The reason as to why we are single parents, it's because it just did not work out in one way or the other. 
but there's what we call sacrifice. Children are a gift and they need to be given every bit of love, every bit of parental love, regardless of what you're going through. Then they didn't bargain for it. Neither did you. But in cases where things happen, you do not involve your kids in your fights. If you're trying to cling on to a relationship that's falling apart, it's better to let go than to get things in a, to a worse state where children have to decide who to love. Sometimes you're going to have to put on a show to give your children the best time. You don't know the joy children feel when they hang out with both their parents. You don't. You do not. I wish they could speak. Well, some do speak, I'm telling you. But you do not know what it means to come together and give time to your kids. But it's all sacrifice. Put on a show for a moment and give your children the best. The best. Those are memories created that can never be erased and nobody can offer. I mean, nobody can offer such good memories to your children. Now, don't you wait when it's too late and you, you go like, I wish, I wish, I wish. We better stop wishing and act. While you're out there thinking, I don't know what you're going through. Honey, I don't. I'm only speaking as a single mother. And I'm trying to stand in the shoes of this child that you're trying to deny all this happiness. You have no idea what some of us have had to sacrifice or put up with to give our children the best moments. And we're not aliens. It doesn't mean we don't have feelings. We do hurt. But when it comes to our children, we put everything aside. We put the fights aside and give them the best. And that is what you should do. Time with your kids is very precious. Stop using your children to fight your wars. Stop lying about the other. It is a seed of hate that you're planting in this child and you will not undo. This child will eventually grow. And what are you going to tell them? What example are you setting? Parents, let's wake up. The moment you are a parent, single or not, you cease to be a priority. Your children are. I do know of somebody who went an extra mile to name her child after her. Honey, that is the worst mistake. It doesn't matter whether you're getting along with your baby daddy or not. That is DNA. It's called DNA. It can never change. That child will always be her father's child. So whether you hate him or not, she will always be her father's child. Now you gotta make it up to her. Don't deny her a chance to receive the love from the father. It doesn't matter whether you get along or not. She deserves a time of a lifetime. She deserves the best time. She deserves the best parental love. That is my thought for today. Now I know we all go through things in relationships. There is a lot of sacrifice when it comes to raising children. But I pray to God for restoration of relationships. To mend what is broken. And if it cannot be mended, don't push it. The bruises, the pain you are to suffer. 
will not be worth it. Have you ever been angry that you put all your frustration, all your distress, all your pain onto someone else? Not because they're responsible, not because they are the cause for your distress, but you just find yourself lashing out at anybody around you. Why would you want to put anybody around you in that kind of torture? You gotta think, think first. You gotta think hard. You have to pray hard. It's never worth it to lose yourself to somebody else. If it cannot work, leave it to God. There will always be someone meant for you. If it can't work, pray for yourself. It does work. Pray for yourself. Before you know it, you're going to be happy again. And life will go on. And that is better than fighting your wars, using your children. It's better than being mad at just about anything that crosses your path simply because you're not happy. It is not worth it honey i repeat it's not worth it to lose yourself over things that can be solved prayer is key and as i go today i'm praying for you if you're going through that kind of situation take a minute take some time meditate Pray about it. There's always a way we can raise our children better and give them the best of us. You don't have to be rich to be happy. Riches start with the heart. And when the heart is content, everything else just works out perfectly. Seek joy, seek grace, seek happiness from God. It all starts with you. I wish you the very best. And don't you forget it. Show love, unconditional love to your children. No matter what you're going through. Nobody else is going to love them more than you. Nobody else is going to raise them better than you. Children are our responsibility. I love you.